Hello and welcome to this video how you can set up your flow with frontend dependencies. I'm Valentin Zickner and in this video I'm going to show you how you can configure your local npm to download dependencies from the flowable npm repository and after that we are going to install the flowable forms dependency. Therefore, as a first step, I went already to documentation.flowable.com. Now, once you are there, you can click at the top on Flowable Forms and then go to Explore Our Guides and click on Installation on the left. Now, here you have that code snippet which you can put in your npm RC, or alternatively, you can go uh, to that artifact repository link where you then can press. Uh, the set me up button. Here you need to sign in with your username and your password. And once you signed in, you are redirected to the page where you have that set me up button. Now, when you click on that set me up button, you need to verify your password one more time. Otherwise, it won't show the passwords uh, on that page. So I just entered my password there again. And once I have done that, you can scroll. Uh, pretty much to the bottom where you have a snippet basically allowing you doing the setup. Now I'm going to copy that and that uh, copied, I'm going to a terminal now. In that terminal, I am opening in my home folder the file npmrc. In that folder, I am going to uh, just paste what I have. And the only thing I need to do is I need to replace basically in here. Uh, the scope with at flowable. And then you can also specify your email address in here in the second from the last line with your actual email address. However, that's not even uh, required typically. Now, once that is done, you can uh, just create a test project, go into that test project and do an npm install at flowable slash forms. And that should download the flowable forms dependency and all other required dependencies to use flowable forms. In addition, there are also a few other dependencies from flowable which you can use inside your project. Right now, we are downloading just flowable forms. And once that loading bar is then basically at the end, we are already done uh, with that demo. So let's just wait a few more seconds until uh, everything is downloaded. It typically downloads most of the stuff, or all flowable things from our uh, flowable repository, while other dependencies are coming from other uh, repositories. So just doing an ls here, we have the package log.json where we can look in, where we then see actually that uh, typical dependencies are resolved from npmjs.org while our flowable dependency, which we have in here, is resolved from artifacts.flowable.com. So that setup worked. And inside the node modules, we have now all the different dependencies, uh, including also the flowable dependency, uh, which is in here. With that, we already reached the end of the today's video how-to. So thank you very much for listening and please feel free to check out our additional videos over here. See you next time. Thank you.